Welcome. You ruined it. I'm doing theme music. I'm doing dramatic theme music. Go ahead. Okay. Welcome to the Power Chamber Podcast. The only PCP that can twist and shout. Okay. It I'm, can. I'm okay with that. <laughs> it can. All right. Twist and shout. Anyway. Ah, sorry, I have to learn that song. Anyway, um, yeah, welcome to the PCP. We're we're back. I don't know. I, I think we're recording this on time, but I'm not Maybe, sure. Maybe. I don't know. We Last week kind of knocked us off, like, like pretty yeah. bad. But anyway, um, so so what are we here to talk about today? We uh, are here oh, to by the talk way, about... I guess we should do intros. I'm Ice Chip Andy, for anybody who doesn't know, who hasn't been listening. And I'm Nick, aka Iron Man 1993. And may the power protect you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why'd you make me sound like a boy scout? Uh, because you sound like a boy scout. Oh, oh my god. Sure, so it's my fault. Oh god. There are noises happening. Yes. Alright, hold on. Random noises. <laughs> Random noises. He fixed it. So, we have a couple of things to talk about here today. We're yeah, not going to talk a about couple. a new it's episode been... of Dino Charge because Nickelodeon has a bunch of dicks. No, god. <laughs> I don't want to get sued. Oh, yeah? Uh, I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, Nickelodeon is terrible, terrible pe- No, um, um... Nickelodeon made the last Airbender movie. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not sure. And, and, and the, the Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles movie. movie. Yeah. That's why Saban didn't give them the rights to the Nickelodeon movies movie. don't traditionally go well, though. Snow Day was awesome. Yeah, but that wasn't based on the series. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't the Wild Thornberry movie and then the Rugrats, were those not good? I don't remember the Wild Thornberry movie at all. Yeah. Uh, the Rugrats movie... I remember the trailer to that movie, Wild Thornberry's movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How'd it go? In a world where... <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got no. I don't even know their, like, character names. I never watched the show. Oh, yeah. So I didn't give a shit. Um, but the Rugrats movie, I don't know, it's weird watching it as an adult. Okay. Because I'm not really sure if it's like, oh, it's just a kid's movie thing, or, oh, that that wasn't very good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, all I can say is that movie is really, really, really unrealistic. The Rugrats movie? Mm-hmm. It's a cartoon. I'm aware Talking but babies. I, the, no, they communicate with each other. Yeah. Not with the, and Angelica. Not with the adults. It's because she's like four. She's a toddler. I don't know why we're talking about this. Anyway, the Rugrats. Uh, wait, no, Power Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So well, I mean, we can get nostalgic about Nickelodeon films. Uh, but what? what I, was I, I can't My remember another point. one. I can't remember another one. Um, Doug was on Disney. Yeah, Doug, yeah. When that movie came out, it was Disney. <laughs> um, did Team Rocket or not Team no, Rocket? The didn't. other one, Rocket Power. Yeah, Team Rocket. Team Rocket. But they did well. They didn't get a movie, but they were in a movie. Last thing I forget. Oh, okay. Ding. <laughs> no. Or <laughs> not? No, that's not what we're talking about. Digimon okay. is infinitely better. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. It's uh, it is though. I did just yeah, shut up. It is comparing uh, power, uh, comparing Pokemon to Digimon, kind of like comparing to, uh, Samurai to Jungle sh- Fury. I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say that, and then you <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> you didn't say it though. I know. You specifically said I don't know. I waited for you to quit before I interjected. I was gonna You're say welcome. it, and then I thought better of it, and then you ended up saying it anyway. You're, you were terrible people. I'm not terrible people. Yes, Those, you are. That show, that show is terrible, and that other show that I said was good, mm. was actually the best. Oh, so you like Samurai, opinion. huh? <laughs> yeah. Samurai is the best? No, Samurai kicks ass, but fucking Mike makes a great Red Ranger. Okay. So, anyways, in the interim, I have finished Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, and... Yeah, Lightspeed. I'll say this. It's not... Worse than I remember it by much. 
worse than you remember Lightspeed. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's but about, it is worse than yeah, you remember it. <laughs> because Dana is... Yeah, she's a she, mannequin, yeah, dude. Yeah, she's, she's it's, not very good. It's incredible. Like, it's weird. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that that chick cannot do expressions. They just have somebody come in and paint the expression on her face yeah. beforehand. Like, oh, it's That's shady. why they don't give her stuff to do with Ryan and why they don't really give her much stuff to do in general, actually. They gave her that. They gave her a couple focus episodes. The the teen model thing was awful. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, oh, it, man. Is, it is a terrible. That episode. was that was the last laugh I of that season. I was so My pissed God. off that when I awful. saw that one. Oh man. man, Kelsey was gonna just murder. Yeah, Kelsey and makes an amazing yellow. I was gonna be all right with it. It was. Mm. Yeah. You were gonna be okay with her just punching her in the face. Yes. Yeah. Just go, yeah. I'm pretty sure they only have the one model of her, so <laughs> they're not going to be able to replace her if she gets broken. Yeah. You want to see Dana's best acting moment? It's in that, uh, was it Yesterday Again episode where she does the joke in the newspaper? My God. Talking about, why did the hot dog oh, right. wear <laughs> a sweater? Oh my God, Dana. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I was right. But to, anyway. to that point, though, like, I still really like Carter. I mean, uh, I agree. I think your your main problem with him is that he doesn't have an arc, and they have all, really, all the ingredients to put one there. Yeah, they do, because Carter's really, well, he has a really interesting backstory, so yeah. he can be a really interesting character. Yeah, and you can have all these, like, I started noticing a pattern with, with him. He kept losing people. Yeah. Like, the Rangers and him would be separate all the time, and he'd be like, no! Yeah. And he'd be like, man, he's just having, like, PTSD flashbacks of the firemen and whatnot. Yeah. And I I guess, like, because the ingredients are there. All you have to do is just write a story there for him. Yeah. Uh, His whole dynamic with Captain Mitchell works really well. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, the dyna- the Captain Mitchell dynamic with anybody works really well. Yeah, uh, and Dana's interaction with anybody, well, except for except for Kelsey, is just terrible. Like she yeah, ruined that. Carter a lot of the time. Yeah, especially in that one episode where he forgot who he was, and then he's like Dana. Yeah, and they're like in a relationship or something like that. She, I guess I was supposed to take from that one scene. There was one, and also Super Mega Force. There was one moment uh, where. Dana is like really offended or something. I will say that though. She turns she... to leave the room and she turns directly into Carter. Mm. And you know that's all that she heard from the director was turn around and stop at Carter. Yeah. Because <laughs> he reaches out, grabs her shoulder, and goes, No, wait. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Okay. Um, I, I will say this I think her acting is better in Super Mega Force than it was in the actual season. Because uh, you had the one line. Oh, right, yeah. You're going to be were... okay. <laughs> Don't give her too yeah, much to so. do. Well, it's better than fucking Caron got, so... She got the line that was cut. Yeah. <laughs> it was terrible. Anyways, God, back Nickelodeon. to Lightspeed. Anyway, uh, um, yeah, Lightspeed. So, I still really like Ryan. Uh, uh, his acting's better than Dana's, but not by much. Uh, yeah, uh, no, it, I, I was I, like, I definitely get, when he like, came in, I was like, are things, they actually related? <laughs> it's one of those things to where, like, he, he's good with what he's given, and then the rest of the time he's just Power Ranger, you know? Yes. <laughs> uh, and then... When he has the evil stuff, like, that character works, Yeah. but ultimately it's just a character that the guy was playing. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did like Diabolico, though. Dude's got a very ominous voice. <laughs> yeah, and he's just talking a about demanding the, uh, presence. Yeah, yeah. Every time you morph, the cobra will move up your body before it kills you. Sorry, <laughs> destroys you. <laughs> Sorry, destroys you. Yeah, yeah. I, that that really bothers me, especially in in that and uh, and Time Force. Except for Time Force, they actually went for it. Uh, <laughs> well, Time Force doesn't around yeah. like I, the first three episodes were better than anything I'd seen in Lightspeed. Um, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but yeah. I, no, it is. I, and then... Because what happens we, in the first three episodes of Time Force? I'm sure you can tell me. Oh, yeah. The, well, we're not here to talk about Time Force. Well, no, but you want to talk, uh, talk no, about we'll, we'll get speed. to it, because right. after I we'll turn the lights, we'll go for it. All right, so, moving from... Kill, well, no. Yeah, so we, we have Ryan, Ryan, and then... Jed. 
he's got the you know, diabolical disintegrated man in front of him. I don't. I, I already said I don't him. much care for the suit. Yeah, and I see your point, kind of like I. I it's understand, just there's. It, it would look better if it did have elbow pads and knee pads. Yeah, but. That said, I don't think the suit is all that bad, and also I'm making the argument that it's a prototype. Okay. So it's not finished. It's the first American-made Ranger. No, in the show, it's a prototype, because it was stolen in the scene. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it's not finished. It's not fully designed in suit mode like it should be. Yeah. Yeah. But it would look, it would look cooler with the elbow pads and knee pads. Yeah, I... I to yeah, complete maybe, the look yeah. is all... Yeah. Maybe a belt or something, but his no, weapon he, is, the, is the axe gun. Yeah, the axe gun. Which is which is awesome. Turn the axe rifle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool weapon all in all. Yeah. I love uh, the V-Lancers, and then they they blow off his visor, and he's like... Yeah. yeah. That happens a lot in that show. I, right. I noticed the broken visors or the helmets without the visors, because you got to show the under design mm. of the mouth guard. Which well, that's because, I don't have that's a problem because those, with. It's those, super cool. The visors move up though on those suits, so. Yeah, but they also. Well, no, that was. They, they that don't was crack the them a lot. They don't crack them a lot. Uh, I think the one time that they do actually go for the crack is when with Ryan, and then at the end with Carter. Yeah, I was gonna say I know Carter gets one. Yeah. But. Um, but the, yeah, there are a lot of moments where he's like separated from the others and they're like dying. You're like when they're. Taken to Van Shears other dimension and they're just on fire and he follows them and they're on fire and he's like, holy <laughs> crap. And so he goes to face off against Van Shear because Diabolico is like, that's the only way oh, to right. destroy her. Yeah, and yeah. he's like, yeah, yeah. But again, the ingredients are there yeah. to be, to, you know, live up to the Captain <laughs> Mitchell stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey's good. We talked she's, about Kelsey. She's a good, Kelsey. She's, move she's good, good actress. She is. She's, and, a, she's a badass. Yeah. I yeah. just really, you need to just pop Dana right in the face in that episode where she's talking about being a model and, like, yeah. I, how much time passed? Because that, that episode makes no sense. Yeah, no, it was like it, weeks. It opens, freaking Viper takes Jinxer and is like, make me a monster, now's my chance. And I'm like, where the hell did this come from? Yeah. <laughs> and then Treeville happens, and I'm digging Treeville. I, yeah. I like that name. <laughs> And then they they just, keep mispronouncing it though. I noticed they keep keeps, saying tree evil. Yeah, tree evil. Yeah, instead of tree evil. They they should have just gone for the tree evil. Yeah, it rolls off the the tongue better. I agree. And then you know they go off and they fight the thing, and then Dana's noticed by whoever and becomes a model, yeah. and then all of a sudden no she's, no 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 she's they're they're in a fight famous. and she's saving people and like oh a yeah the photographer taking her picture, taking her picture for the yeah. And yes. then the freaking, I guess this is now a review for that episode. Yeah. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then, you know, she becomes a model and she's like, oh my God, the morpher is really ugly. Rube, the morpher, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like really famous and the people that she works with want her autograph or whatever. I guess yeah. there's no autographs for Power Rangers. Yeah, I guess every, Captain Mitchell just allows that shit to happen. Everybody knows who they are. How does that make sense? Yep. And then... She starts being really bitchy towards Kelsey, Kelsey for no and, reason. <laughs> like it's weird. Yeah, and then she's like, "You're world. jealous," and then it, yeah, it's bad. And then like and then Kelsey, I have to assume that like weeks went by and Treble's still there. Yes. Yeah, that did. Happen. And I don't even understand how that's possible. And then she breaks out of it in a scene that we didn't get to see. No, 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 no. Uh, Kelsey forgives her. At, the, at, at first, first, yeah. Yeah, they have, a, like, a conversation where they address it, and Kelsey's like, it, cool. Yeah, I'll forgive you this one time. Yeah, and then immediately, and then, yeah, like, the next fucking scene, yeah, she, she, she didn't learn a goddamn Terrible thing. person, yeah. Yeah. And it's a really it, harsh It does the transition. same thing that the friggin' uh, Something Fishy episode did, where it's just like, I'm back to normal. Yeah. And you're just like, well, you're yeah, cured. We, we don't need that scene. <laughs> It just like doesn't happen. They just they skip over the scene. Sure. There's not even you know flashback to stupid like something fishy. So it's at least got a leg up on that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's really terrible. Yeah. Like, wow. Anyway, I find so, it hard to believe that that chick is just doing a character. So Kelsey's awesome. Kelsey's pretty awesome. And Chad, we have Chad and Kelsey's I love Kelsey's paired with a lot. Yeah. And their dynamic works a whole lot yeah. because they're both really good. Yeah. You know. They they both understand their roles and they they have even Chad doing the stuff with the mermaid. I thought I could 
you know, he, he really sells it, I think. Yeah, he does, because their their conviction is is unmatched in the yeah. show. So we have <laughs> Chad, and Chad has my favorite Ranger moment in, in the season. Oh, in the season, okay. Talking about, you know, he gets in a fight with this dude who really wants to get laid. Yeah. <laughs> the, and, it's like his first focus episode. Yeah. And then he gets in a duel with him because the guy sold his soul to Viper or something. Yeah. I, I have And no then idea. she trains him to be awesome, and then they end up fighting, and he's like, you know... She has, like, you don't want to do this, and then they start getting the crap punched, and then he's like, I'm not leaving without you. He rips off the jacket and goes, even if I have to do this the hard way, and then he <laughs> takes a stance and goes, hi, and then they just start, <laughs> yeah. and I'm fully convinced he just straight up kicked the dude in the face <laughs> in that fight. <laughs> well, it was awesome. Not to bring up Time Force again, but they obviously hit a guy with a car <laughs> oh, to get a shot. It was, it was pretty rough looking. Anyway. Yeah. So it was just, it was nice. Yeah. I liked it. Uh, and then there's Joel and yeah. Miss Fairweather. Yeah, they're, and they're kind mm, there. Mm. It's. You said it best. They're trading on Jake and Gia territory. Yeah, it's very close to that. Yeah. The thing that makes it, the thing that doesn't make, that keeps it from getting to that point is that, you know, they actually have episodes where she's like, you know what, Joel, you're not that bad. Yeah. You know, she actually shows interest. As opposed to Geo, who's just there. Yeah. yeah. And then... She's not a man. But it, it does go a lot for comedy, and they always, you know, they always... Well, that's what the Green Ranger... Ranger that's what they think the Green Ranger is. He's he's a comedian and a goofball, and get the laugh. Yeah, this but... Is your, this is your already pre-written uh, comedy relief yeah. for the fight scenes that are too extreme for children or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but it's dangerously close to the Jake and Gia thing. Uh, the, the thing that saves it, though, is that their their chemistry with each other is enough. There's enough there, you know? Yeah, you can kind of put a story together yourself if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Like, And I, I had this thought. You know what's the difference between Tommy and Kim, uh, Wes and Jen, and also Theo and Lily? What? And even, uh, to an extent, Dylan and Summer, they never went the I'm going to pretend to be somebody else route. Oh. Where okay. they talk about at the end of the episode, you just need to be yourself. None of that happens, ever. It happened in this show <laughs> for Joel and Miss Fairweather. It's more than we get for goddamn Mike and Emily. It is. That's not fair. Why? Because that's barely a thing. It happens in three episodes. I know. It's <laughs> weird. That's it. In the entire run of the show, one of them is a special. And yeah, 45 minute, hour long special. It's stupid. Yeah. And yeah. then, because I don't like the way he looks at you. He's wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I yeah. see the way she looks. I, I do have eyes under this visor. That, that was bullshit. Yeah, but he's Poor Scott. Of visor, yes. Sad day for Scott. I miss Scott. It's weird how writers can just be awful. Anyway. Yeah. And just ruin a good thing. Um, yeah. I guess uh, Mega Force can... and Samurai got a team up. No, they didn't. Well, I mean, they had a team up with everybody. No, they didn't. He was there. Yeah, but they didn't say anything to each other. Yeah, he did. No, they didn't. Yeah, he did. What did he say? He said he was having a monologue and he was looking straight forward. Yeah. Oh, Jaden. Yes. That's not a team-up. That was a team-up. That was a meet-up. It's not like... That's like one rung down from the Always a Chance episode in space. You remember where Adam shows up? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's a step down from that because we don't actually see Jaden do anything except for kind of sit there. And be like, Disc! <laughs> and then Megazord, and he's like, Froyo! And then that's it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then G is also there. By the way, I'm, well, I, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, yet. we're not going to talk about that. Um, so, there's that. Uh, Diabolico and Im Olympias. Yeah, they're, they're... Their dynamic is really what I think would have happened. they're had, amazing villains. Yeah. But the fact that, they're, that they have dialogue off of each other is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. Yeah. It's weird, like, because that dynamic is kind of what I f feel like would have happened had Vicar and Rock actually been in the same room. Yeah. <laughs> had they had any... Yeah. They're... Uh, yeah. I'm not sure why that is. Because but they're anyway. two different sentences. You know what I noticed? I watched... <laughs> I, 
Uh, I'm going to tell this story. I okay, was watching the Super Mega Force reviews again uh-huh. last night, and I uh, saw that Professor Cog was in that episode. Yeah. The RPM episode? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess I, Samurai I didn't know about that. No, it, it's stupid. Yes. Professor Cog thing. They really kind of do a lot. Jonathan Zachary does a lot to bastardize RPM. Yeah. It's I like RPM. I know. It's very bizarre. Uh, and well, I should say I, uh, the first couple episodes intrigued the shit out of me. Yeah, it's yeah. got it's got a lot in common with Time anyway. Force in that way, and also even uh, Dino Thunder. But yeah, yeah let's, let's go ahead. And so yeah, I, it's not bad. It's definitely worse than when I saw it, but it's not bad. It's still one of my favorites, okay. though not in, in number five like it was. It's probably yeah. about number seven. Okay, uh, on the list. And Let's, you're still trying to decide which is number one. Actually, did you decide? No, I, I know what, what number one is. Number one is in space, because in space is awesome. Yeah, but... It, it... Shut up. All right, fine. You I'm going to watch... I'm going to rewatch in space, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to watch Jungle Fury. You know what's weird? Like, I've been watching Time Force, and it's weird how how similar those three shows are, because they're all great. Yeah. And they have a lot in common with each other. Like what? Like the, the pairings in that. They have a huge focus on relationships and story arcs and tragic backstories and interesting villains. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think is the better villain? That's tough to say. Because um, Rancic, god damn, terrifying Rancic. and Daishi are pretty close. The difference is, is that, like, Daishi is just evil. Okay. And he has, like, a mission. I'm going to destroy all humans and rule the Earth. Yeah. And Rancic has a tragic backstory and has... Well, I mean, we, get, has we kind of get a ta- uh, backstory for Daishi. And Daishi has Camille, so don't give me that No, bullshit. Jared has Camille. No, Daishi has Camille at the beginning of the season. Yeah, but the the interesting thing is Jared playing... Nadira is of... definitely doing her best Harley Quinn impression. And how do you know? <laughs> it's very weird. It, I noticed it in that Movie Madness episode where she just overacts to the max because she's supposed to be terrible. Yeah. And I get it, but like I was like... I, I, I never made the Harley Quinn connection, though. Thank you for saying You're that. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, she does do a lot to, to kind Whereas... of play forward. Though, to be fair... Camille kind of did that at first, too. What? Where she's like, I'm the villainess. Oh. You know? Yes. And she, they, none of them actually really start at the, the Metal Alice level. <laughs> you know? Well, kind of. No, well, not really. I don't think so. Because Metal Alice starts off fiercely loyal to Brock. And then she meets Robo Knight, and she's like, you're going to fall with the humans, and then they have that dark interplay. Though, then again, that might be because shorter time span, you kind of just have to rush all that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have time so, to build on that shit. Uh, but I, I'm, I've been watching Time Force. The, that finale is fantastic. Or that, that in, introductory to the yeah, season the pilot. is fantastic. Like the, it's a the, pilot. The, the two-parter is amazing. That is one of the most... The greatest things. It, it's a lot like you know the, the Andros thing, but we actually saw the terrible thing happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, spoilers for Time Force if nobody has seen it in, in the past last... like fifteen years. Yeah. Uh, thirteen. Okay. It's thirteen. It's two thousand one. Fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then so yeah, and then they actually go for it. Like she she has that one episode. Jen's Revenge is awesome. I love <laughs> that. Is my favorite episode so far. Um, yeah, outside of the 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 quantum ranger stuff, which we'll get to, but yeah, I like the quantum ranger stuff. But uh, Jen's like, you know, Jen is marginally she's, better she's, than Dana. No, she's a she's a God. step out above. Well, she's a step above everybody, everybody in yeah. that show. Everybody, she's the best actor there. Yeah, it's very weird. Even even you know, compared to Jason Fawn, who's doing a really good job. Yeah, and even Rancic, yeah. who's also really good. Yeah. She's still the better actor there. I like Thrax. Thrax is good. That's all I'll say about that for <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, for now. Because um, you haven't seen the bit yet. So. Yeah. Or rewatched it, I should say. I did I did notice, though, I didn't think that they would start off with him hating mutants as early as they did. Oh. Because uh, it's in the Jin's Revenge episode where he's talking about, you know, he frames that one mutant oh, to really? get Jin and Rancic in the same room. What has he done since then? Who? Thrax? Yeah. He's in charge of the X-Vaults. And... Oh, that's right. He has the yeah. key. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that's and what And he built a robot do. and took control of the, the... Actually, no, that was Rantic. Yeah. <laughs> the Q-Rex is awesome. Do you understand why I'm pissed now? Yeah. At Super Mega Wars? Mm, yes, I do. That's that's exactly why I went back and watched the, the reviews. I just put them on. Yeah. Because that's where I could find them. Because it was just like, this. Mother. Yeah. Because it's, it's really terrible. Like, I don't understand how you make that mistake in a show where you're like, the Lion Zord. Yeah. Well, I mean, it also underwent a design change. Oh, well, yeah. But it was still the lion. They You got it from Animaria. That thing looks nothing Animaria. like the Q-Rex. <laughs> yeah. It looks nothing like the Q-Rex. Yes, I know. It's the not Q-Rex. We get it. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nick. I'm sorry. I that, no, it's fine. On that. It's absolutely fine. No, but you just need to so, just sit back and relax. All right, take a breath. Yeah. So right. Time Force, Eric's also a really good actor in there. Yeah. Tina Southworth does a lot to be the anti anti-hero. Which is weird, because he hasn't done the thing yet. So, okay. at least not where you're at. I don't, I don't think. Uh, he's done... He's He did the thing where he's... You know, got the quantum powers, and his playback with Wes is really interesting there. Yeah. I think that that's, like, the the first time that something like that has actually been done in where this show. Where the Sixth Ranger does not have anything to do with the actual team? No, where the Sixth Ranger has this really weird rivalry with the Red Ranger. Yeah. Because uh, that, that has never been as present as it is in Time Force. I mean, it yeah. was somewhat present at the intro of Green with Evil. Yeah. And then it kind of evens itself out. <laughs> and then it's somewhat there during A Lost Galaxy. But then also kind of just oh, stops right. as soon as he's like, I've been wrong and sacrificed dead. Um, spoilers for Lost Galaxy. I don't know why I went to Dino Thunder. Does that happen? Not a rivalry. Again, it's more along the lines of... I'd have to watch it again. We'll, we'll get to it. Because yeah, I actually we'll got the third it. box set. Yay! Hi-ya! Uh, that was super fun. Thanks, shout. So yeah, shout out to shout. Shout out to shout. The shout hey. factory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. It's fine. It's just the nineties. I know. You were compelled by the nineties. Yeah. Anyway, I was thinking about getting the Digimon. Ooh. It's very weird how uh, how one. many voice actors they just kind of reuse. It's very bizarre. Well, I mean, Savon. I know. And then, he just has these people on speed dial. Yeah, but like you would never thought, like the guy who played Dival- Diabolico is Hawkmon. How ne- do you even pull that off? Well, I mean, he also played Holsamon, so there's yeah. that. <laughs> but I mean, like you have, uh, you have Steve Bloom playing Black War Greymon. Yeah. <laughs> or just the angst, and then. <laughs> He's also playing uh, JP in Frontier. Not sure how that happens. I I don't know. Uh, friggin' Circuit is played by that. the same person who voiced Tommy and Calamon. Oh, Calamon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like Tamers, don't even mind. I did me. like t- Tamers, though. Tamers is nice. I did like Tamers, man. No, it's good. I, uh, it's really good. It's, it's marginally better than Pokemon. Anyway. I know! <laughs> shut the fuck up! But... <laughs> We'll get to it. I God know. damn it. Okay. I'm trying. Okay. So, what else do we have to talk about? We've only been going for half an hour. Yeah. Um, it's been a little, so, yeah. It's been a short... Uh, yeah, like I said, it's been so, a slow Yeah, it's, been a, it's been a very slow week. week. We have the 800th episode of Power Rangers airing tomorrow. Yeah. Episode That'll 13. That'll be episode 13. Hopefully they do something... I would really love to see Keeper's backstory and if it ties in at all to MMPR. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I am more interested... What, what do I want to see happen in this show? Because we've got... Well, you know what? I'd like to see Riley develop a character and Riley, stick with it. Riley has a character. It's just... It changes based yeah. on the, the episode. Yeah, based on the requirement No, it's very of bizarre. Episode. Like, the Sentai is very much... That guy's a sword fighter, but... For some reason, Power Rangers wants him to be Noah... Well, did you see how awesome no was with the sword? I know, but the difference is, is that, like... And John, Mal- John Mark, Mark Lattermilk. Lattermilk made that consistent. You could see the bridge from, you know, nerdy guy to sword fighter. Right. You saw him here. training in the woods. Oh, he sure. He got cut. See, that was my sword. problem with him when, when he first got introduced. I didn't... 
I didn't really care for Riley. We hadn't gotten. I did for like a, seeing him fence in the barn. I thought was really cool. It I was thought just was, an odd I setting. We, yeah, I know. Like, why well, in the hell was he fencing in a barn? Like, I get he's supposed to be on a farm, but where did he get the fencing equipment? Guy <laughs> on the farm? Did he yeah. grow it? No. Are you sure? He bonded along with his moped. Did <laughs> his moped with his manual that just disintegrated. <laughs> uh, no, but it's it, nothing against the actor who's playing Riley. Yeah, because no, I mean you're, you're you're really you're doing the best with what you got. Yeah, we get but that. There just doesn't seem to be a link with Noah. There was a link. There was a there was a character progression. There was an arc there. Yeah, to get him from I don't know if I'm a hero to dude that took you out with a sword, <laughs> or to uh, this is the part where you say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that line. That's the that's the Johnny Cage line. Uh, this is the part where you fall down. Ever since the hiatus, I think Chase has been handled a lot better. Well, because he, he hasn't been focused on, really. And, yeah, he has been handled a lot better. The hot shot stuff, I'm actually believing now. Yeah. As we've gone on, especially in those great action sequences that we've gotten in the past couple episodes. Yeah. Like, episode 11 is awesome. Episode 10, you had, you know, we need you now, hot shot. In the Megazord, I love that line. Yeah. That whole fight is just cool. <laughs> and, like, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the idea that they, they powered up to fight off Fury in a Megazord, and they're still just, you know, on the ropes. Yeah. Yeah. Because huh. that's, yeah, what, what do they call it? What is the upgrade called? Dino Drive. Dino oh. Drive, which is just put the fucking charger across the action figure chest. Oh, okay. And, sorry. So, and it will make a noise. <laughs> Dino yeah. Charger, engage. Yeah, Surviving is still awesome. Surviving is still I awesome. I love Surviving. Uh, he really should save morphing time all the time. <laughs> yeah. Tis morphing time, especially in, in his introduction. Tis my turn to morph. Yeah. Oh, man. Just, <laughs> yeah. I love that. I don't know why. I would be okay. It's like, you remember, well, you won't remember because you didn't see it, but there was an episode of Overdrive where Thor <laughs> showed up. Oh, you know what? I did hear about that. With with uh, Loki yeah. as well, and, and Loki does not look. It's one of those things to where they like kick on a theme for Thor, and it's awesome. Seeing him fight off all the, the foot soldiers is really cool. It's one of the highlights of that season that is just terrible. Okay, and it's one of the most vivid episodes that I remember because it's so cool. All right. Um, but yeah, good good episodes and terrible seasons. Yeah. Blah, blah. yeah. But I've been watching Time Force. We've gotten, I've gotten at the end of disc three of I'll probably, the five disc set. We'll probably have to set aside like an hour after I watch that uh, season. With Time Force? No, Overdrive. Oh, yeah. Because for, for for just raging. No, you're gonna rage after episode five. Okay. You know how I know that. Because you raged after episode five. You remember how you felt the first time you watched uh, The Last Airbender after watching the series? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I raged flipped my couch. That, that's going to happen to you watching I'm, Overdrive. I don't want to rage flip my couch. It's going to happen. Okay. And we don't have a couch, so you're going to rage flip my bed. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I'm going to rage flip my bed. Anyway. So, yeah. We have that going on. Uh, but yeah, I've been watching Time Force. I'm right in the middle of the Movie Madness 2 parter. Things have gotten really slow as of recent. Yeah. I don't know, ever since we introduced, you know, Eric and the Q Rex and he became the leader of the Silver Guardians, we yeah. just kind of. We set aside a set of like three episodes that focus on Lucas, Katie, and Trip, and they don't amount to nothing. And then there's the movie Madness two-parter, and I'm like, well, yeah, that's there. <laughs> there's the Peter Parker episode. Yeah. My God. We talked about it. Yeah. Give me well, pictures of Spider-Man. What? Oh, man. <laughs> it's not, I, I wouldn't hate it if it wasn't like such a blatant ripoff. Oh, And sure. even then, it's more along the lines of he finds out who they are, right? The reporter. Right. And then she's like, no, you shouldn't do this. It's going to ruin us. You don't know what what will happen. He's like, but it'll give me a lot of money. And he's like, I'm doing this for my career. It's not my problem. And then he gets locked locked in an elevator shaft. Oh, yeah. After the building gets That's shot right. down. And then Katie goes up to him and she pulls him out. And she's like, you'd save me even after I turned in those pictures? And she turns to him and says, uh, well, unlike you, 
I I don't only think about myself, and then she just walks off. I feel like <laughs> that guy didn't do enough to earn that line. Okay. For her to say that to him? Yeah. I don't know. It's just very weird, because... Not like the the thief from yeah. Light Speed. Yeah, the Will thief, Forte. that guy was super, you know, having fun with... Just stealing. Yeah. So the dynamic is there, you know, but the guy with the camera, you know, you see him hesitating, and you know why he's doing it. So I don't think he, he did enough to earn that brand from her. Okay. Is all I'm saying. Well, Kelsey, Tripp, and Lucas are just kind of... Katie. Katie, Tripp, and Lucas are just kind of there. Yeah, Lucas is the worst actor on the show. <laughs> it's very weird, and I don't know what it is. I think it might be his accent. Uh, I don't know. I saw him do that promo for the Ranger movie. Oh, yeah? The movie with the Rangers. Yeah. Um, but and He's better than Dana, though, because he's got swagger. Yeah. And that's about it. Uh, he's just uninteresting. I'm a race car driver. You'd think that'd be cool. I believe it's what the 90s called game. No, they just need, like, he really needs to pair, pair off with somebody and have, like, a good dynamic. Because you have him, Katie, and Tripp who all just kind of have the same dynamic with each other. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. there's Wes and Jen who are over here. Different dynamic. You haven't seen off of. I don't know if it's the worst episode of the season because it's completely out of character for Rancic. No, I've seen the worst episode of this season so far. What is it? It's the uh, the one, the Katie Focus episode with the time travel. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the time shadow. I mean, it's not. It's, no, 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 no. Not that one. Which one? The one where she goes back in time and beat up the bullies, dude. And then he does it. I and move, the episode comes straight out of nowhere, leads to nothing, and has nothing to do with anything. That explains why I don't remember it. <laughs> so that's why it's terrible. It's because I it's just... There's a, Lucas focus, here. there's a Lucas Focus episode that's later in the season, probably about where I'm at. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> do you? Okay. Yeah. 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 That I'm one. Saying, well, I don't think that one's bad. Actually. I don't think I it is either. One. It's a lot of fun. But I'm wondering. No, it's not. Huh? It's not out of character for Rancic to do that. No? It's not. Okay. Because no. you look at him, he, he'll do anything for Nadir. He will, but uh, he won't do anything for Lucas. If Nadir wants him, yeah. His vendetta is against Time Force, and just because Lucas is a ranger that doesn't mean anything. He has a, a bidding rivalry with Jen. He's fought her twice. Yeah. Has kicked her ass twice. <laughs> it's been very bad. Killed Alex. Yeah. Like, that guy exploded. I'm going to yeah. feel really bad uh, if Wes ends up getting the kill. Oh. Okay. Um, I, w I will, because we've been building up to it all season. Right. But yeah, you got that, that whole thing, and then just Jen is so good. Like, she's got such these little subtle performances, even when the episode doesn't focus on her. Even in the movie Madness, where she's supposed to be really starstruck with the one action dude, the uh, Asian guy. Oh, right, yeah. Frankie Chang. Frankie Chang. Uh, <laughs> She acts like she's supposed to act. Even when the dude turns out to be uh, uh, one of the robots, she's like, oh, my Frankie. <laughs> and she says it's so good. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's great. And then she's in that kung fu. And I'm like, yeah, this is more my speed. <laughs> uh, I really hope I'm not just sitting there watching that going, Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I need to watch it mine again. Speaking of, speaking segue... Of. God, go damn for it. it. I'm so angry. Nipmon 3 is going to happen. Yeah, they already had Nipmon 3. They did already have a Nipmon 3 and a fourth. Yeah. But they, they're going to make a third one again. With actual With Diane. Diane. And, yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Very odd. Well, I, and I'm I, guess, I guess it's going to be American made. I certainly hope not. Me the also. The Grandmaster was terrible. Yeah. No, uh, you didn't sit. That movie is awful. I couldn't watch I, it. Yeah. <laughs> I got past the first act, and I was like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you would think that a kung fu movie would know how to shoot action. Yeah. It doesn't happen. It's very bizarre. Was Crouching Tiger also American made? Uh, no. Okay. That was made by Ang Lee. Oh, okay. And That's right. He has... Chinese speaking characters and Chow Young Fat is there. He played Master Roshi in the in the DBZ film. Is that true? That is true. That oh. movie sucks. Wow. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> I am. Uh, I have to get into that. Start watching BBC. It's but anyway, gonna, we're getting off topic. topic. It's gonna take Mike a while. Tyson is gonna play the villain, I guess, in this in this movie. He's too old for that, man. He, I agree with you. And you know who they should get? Uh, actually, who who would be Scott Quentin Atkins? Jackson. Actually, wouldn't be wouldn't be know. too bad to watch him fight. Bobby Bones Jones. No, but Scott Atkins. I'm. I'm <laughs> Who are you talking about? The the isn't that the name of the light heavyweight champion of UFC? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I know Quentin Rampage Jackson. Yeah. I'm not sure if he'd do it. Uh it, he's he's with Impact. Oh, for real? I think so. John Cena should be the villain in it. <laughs> yeah. I would buy I would buy that for a dollar. No. And his name is John. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, that's enough joking on that. Uh, let's see. Let's seriously. Who would he actually? Because I would really love to see him go up against uh, Eco from the Raid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I just think that fight would just be cool, and you know, there's a movie on Netflix called Kung Fu Killer. You know, there, there's a movie on Netflix called uh, The Man of Tai Chi, directed by Tai-Chi. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. That movie is pretty good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I have been. Keanu Reeves directed the movie, plays a villain. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. Is it in Japanese? Most well, it's in Chinese. Chinese. Most, most some. What was yeah, the one? Forty Seven Ronin. I guess is what yeah. I was thinking of. Forty Seven Ronin. I haven't seen it, but eh, yeah, it's good. But I did watch the Man of Tai Chi, and it's a good, it's a good watch. I'll give it a watch. Yeah. Um, kung Fu movies are underrated. No, uh, they're underrated now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, they were underrated. they were big like in the nineties. They were big in the nineties with you know Jackie Chan and Jet Li, but now those people have gotten older, and you don't have anybody who's really stepped up to be the next guy for that. Well, I mean that's because you got guys like Jason Statham, who are. That's why I'm saying you need to get all these guys together and put them in the Mortal Kombat movie. Damn yeah, it. yeah. Cast Donnie Yen as Kung Lao. Cast Jason Statham as Kano. Yeah. Uh, who would you cast as Sonya Blade? Oh, who wow. who would have an interesting dynamic with Jason Ronda Statham? Rousey? I don't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. I've I never seen see her it. fight, so I wouldn't. Um. Meh. Okay. I, I saw the one that everybody saw. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I thought, I thought you were talking about Jet Li's the one. Yeah, I also saw the one. Yeah. <laughs> Lee fighting himself in a movie. That movie is not very good, but I mean, it's entertaining. It's not fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know, get those guys together. Who would you cast as Shang Tsung? I would actually put Jet Li in that part. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. Unless Carrie still wants to do it, then give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he's do... still doing it. Yeah. Legacy happened. He was there. Yeah, it got canceled. I know. I'm super, super disappointed. It's weird because I actually sat down to watch Daniel Southworth in that episode. Yeah. And it's so cool, man. The you know why I think it got canceled? Because they're I don't know. Because viewers, but also the viewers weren't watching because of the way the show was set up. Oh yeah. Like the way it flowed didn't flow very well. Oh, I see. So it was very episodic. Yeah. 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 I don't know what it is. I don't know why people can't do a, a decent Mortal Kombat series. It's not hard. You don't have to introduce all these backstories at the same time. Like, yes, that's the lore, but introduce them as we introduce the character. You well, know what that, I mean? Like you would do if it was just a character. Yeah. Like, you, you know the way they're supposed to act because you have the backstory information. We've seen it. Yeah. I guess it just depends on what kind of plot they want to go for. If they want to do just straight tournament things, then... You can actually have backstories with each of these characters and, you know, actually develop the pairings and then lead up to each fight. Make the, make the tournament the actual, like the Mortal Kombat, not the characters, the yeah. important part, you know? Yeah. How that makes sense? I, I don't know if that makes sense. It but, makes sense. Okay. It makes sense to me. Um, I, the way I would structure the show is the way the movie is structured mm. for the most part. Uh, I actually would introduce... structure it the same way as uh, as Mortal Kombat 9 is. Okay. Wait. Oh, the oh, just go from character to character, following yeah. what they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see because that. that flows nicely, and you also have build up to the fight. I'm thinking specifically with Scorpion and Sub Zero. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because you need that backstory in order to care what happens in that fight. Yeah, yeah. You don't have either. You don't but, have any of that but, really in any of the the Mortal Kombat movies that came out prior. I will say that you need you need substance to the fight itself. Also, like the fight can't be can't be bad. Every, every oh, no, time no, 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 these guys get into a bout, it has to be awesome. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Like, you just need to get the people that wrote you to write this. this yeah. <laughs> redemption story. Because <laughs> they actually do that. They they focus on all these different characters. Yeah. And then the actions is just awesome. And then when people fight, they actually mean something. Yeah. Yeah. And we get to see them go through their... That's, I think, what's missing is we, we, we want to see them go through their progression naturally. Mm. And we want to f- we want to f- take the journey, you know? Take the journey. We, don't, we know the story, but come on. <laughs> yeah. Get get into the more detail aspects. Like, the, the way I would structure... The, the way the movie is structured, I, at least for the most part, is uh, focusing on uh, Liu Kang, John Cage, and Sonya Blade. Mm-hmm. Which... That's all you really need uh, the, the, to focus on, like why they're why they're there and why they feel they need to win. Yeah, I guess, but you know, people also have the argument where you know Sub Zero and Scorpion are just working together because they're brainwashed or whatever. Right. No. Uh, and it does have that throwaway line in the, at the beginning of the film. You know, the, the deadliest of enemies, but now they work for me. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I'm just saying, like that fight would just be cool to see. And you can get Scott Atkins. Actually, I for for Johnny Cage, I still put my vote on uh, Jasper Van Dien. Jason Smith. Uh, <laughs> you know, he could do it. He could it's do it. It's very weird. He could do it. Uh, I, I I still think that, that Casper Van Dien, though, is the better choice. Well, then again, he might be too old. Yeah, know. now. <laughs> uh, yeah, how long has it been since Legacy? Like two years? Uh, Yeah. It's been two years. Yeah. Speaking of seasons that are taking for goddamn ever, Bravest Warriors. Yeah. Where is season three, man? I've been waiting all year for this shit. Yeah. I don't even remember what was the last episode. Was the the a yeah, hey, the yeah the garden hamster priest hamster priest yeah parts one and two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. God. So it's a great it's a great show. I love that show. It's a good show, yeah. <laughs> I kind of wish though that since Rick and Morty's doing so well that I kind of wish that that they actually went to the the full length episode structure. Yeah, that might be what they're Rick working on. Because Rick and Morty on. is kind of what is kind of what that that should be. Is maybe just, Fred you know, going to put it on Nickelodeon? Because it's very weird. How terrible do you think it's going to be? <laughs> what Nickelodeon produced Bravest Warriors film or TV show? <laughs> TV show. It might not be too bad uh, if they marketed it well. If they market it as is Adventure Time, except it's on Cartoon Network, yeah, it's gonna work. Nickelodeon, yeah, yeah. except it's on Nickelodeon, yeah, it's gonna work. Yeah. But if they are just like you know, they treat it like an, if they air the third episode first, it's not. Gonna be <laughs> <good>. <laughs> oh man, they don't know what they're doing. It's weird. Maybe they maybe you should give it to the people who were making Ninjago. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I, I struggle with that show, man, because I don't know if it's dubbed or not. Oh? Yeah. Well, I mean, it is dubbed because it's a cartoon, but... No, but you know what I mean. Like, it has... It's, like, made in a different country and then just yeah. brought over to us. Yeah. Because I'm watching it and I'm well, like... Well, is it not animated in English? It is. Okay. But I've seen episodes where they've been, like, with different languages. And so I just don't know... If that's a thing, like if it's in just an anime that's 3D and that's really cool, because it, it is essentially claymation. No, it's not, <laughs> it's not claymation. It's interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see how that movie goes. Oh yeah, it's that's gonna right. be set in the same when universe. When does that come out? It comes out the same year that the MMPR movie does, except later. Well, the MMPR movie is in like three months. No, it's not. No, it's not January 2016. It's 2017. 2017. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Yeah, it was going to come out the summer of 2016, they moved it back. Son of a bitch. Why? <laughs> Anyways. Um, okay, well, uh, I think that's all we have, man. Yeah, a very slow week. Yeah. 
We don't have episode 13 to bitch about. Not that it's going to be bad. I don't think it actually will be. Dino Charge is becoming one of my favorite seasons. Absolutely. Yeah. In the same way, Super Mega Force is one of my favorite seasons. I like Super Mega Force. That that finale really let me down. The, yeah, the Legend Battle is really terrible. But, I mean, it's still not a bad season. I, I, I disagree. There are a lot of good moments. Because it's supposed to be a tribute season to all of Power Rangers, and it only does that rarely, and also the finale sucks. The, they did it with Jungle Fury. I'm aware, and I know you like that episode. It's a good episode. <laughs> they also but Blue they, Saber Saga right before that. Blue Saber Very Saga is awesome, and I'll give you that. The stuff with Noah is awesome. Yeah. Could it have been built up better? Absolutely. Uh, Orion, while not handled super well, Cameron Jeebo is still entertaining. No, Cameron Jeebo is a really great actor. He's just not given much to work with. Yeah. And for... I just hate the fact that, like, they did two really good uh, Ranger tribute episodes. The RPM one was fun to watch, but it doesn't make much sense in the context of Of that season. Yeah. Now now that you've seen it... uh, Yeah. Your your opinions on it have probably changed because yeah. I watched the review. Very it much is, so. It is uh, super favorable. Yeah, because that, that action scene is pretty awesome. But the the entire points around the episode doesn't make any sense. The 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 plot surrounding the fact that you know we still have Master Cog and then Professor Cog or yeah Professor Cog and then that's right Master, <laughs> Master Cog Sledge. Is... Professor Gog. Yeah. Um, and then we, and then the fact that Doctor K was working on a sword that we've never heard of. Yeah. For reasons, and then lost control of it because that totally can happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that happened certainly with the other three. Yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, um, it does look like an RPM sword. I'll give it that. But I, I gotta give the credit though. Dino Charge has the episode. Like episode eleven feels like one of those like cornerstone. This feels like a Power Ranger season. Yeah, well, I still like. It feels like Mega one of those Force. classic episodes. Rock is back. I like Mega Force I like Mega I like Mega Force better than Super Mega Force. Seriously, I'll say that. Yeah. All right. Because you have Robo Knight there, and he's super interesting. Uh huh. And you have Brock. You know, had a great ending to the season. Great start for Super Mega Force. And then you also have Brock is back, and Brock is back is awesome. Yeah, Brock is back is is the best. <laughs> It is. It's the best in a while, but I think. it, it it's, it's ruined kind of by the finale. Because the entire point of him sacrificing himself at the end is ruined oh, in that one scene. It, not even a scene. Yeah. In that one half second. Yeah. And I don't know why they did that, so yeah. Uh, and it's because plus, nobody dies in plus, the Power Rangers universe, man. Plus, uh, they brought back Kendricks. They brought back Mike. Yeah. They brought back Alpha, even though nobody wanted them to. <laughs> they did. Uh, they and then you have Troy comes out of nowhere doing that power thing. I was really thought that we were going somewhere with that. Well, the director was the fact that he was gonna, you know, has that power and then also has the, the uh, clairvoyancy. The, yeah, the clairvoyancy. I would really thought that we were building up to something, and they just don't explain it. Nope. I dreamed of this. That's all. And that's get. why I don't like it. And the no, the, I get the, the, it. I, the, I understand, man. The end result of it. Jake and Gia is sucks. God, that pissed me off. That kiss is yeah. It's ugh. it's terrible. It's terrible. Well, I mean, it's not like yeah, yeah, yeah. We we didn't build on it at all. So it's just that's why I don't There's like that season that in much. The season to save it from being like Zio. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll give you that, because right. Zio is just kind of uninteresting. Yes. Zio is a step down from Lightspeed. Yeah. Uh, Where's just not yeah. that interesting. and Lightspeed has a lot of terrible stuff <laughs> Yeah. that doesn't really... Like, Captain Mitchell's the only good thing that I can think of off the top of my head. For yeah. Again, season. he's the best actor there. Yeah. Uh, Chad and Kelsey are not bad, but, I mean, they don't yeah. do anything. Yeah, Kelsey, when she blows herself up, actually looks like a burn victim. <laughs> yeah. That was super depressing. <laughs> uh, uh, so it, it's just those things, though, that's why I, make, I might have to give it another watch, though. Yeah. But I don't want to because that... Like the, the Decker the, stuff, I, I get why you the, like it, but it's not enough to save Samurai. 
No, I, I get it. And watching it again, I can see how terrible it is, the fact that they didn't build it up. But that, those spike sequences are still cool to watch, but they're just not... There's nothing there. They're yeah. dead air. It's very weird. Yep. Like the stuff with Mia and, uh, and the other one. Antonio? No. Emily? No. What? Uh, Spike. Who's that woman? What? what the woman? De- Decker's woman. Oh. Shit. Yeah. It's not Lavira. I know. <laughs> Gosh. Um... Was oh it? my god. Uh, Seriously. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I got the big. Dayu. Ha. Dayu. Yeah. I did. Yeah, but that that means nothing. That that type of interplay is not there. It's very weird. And that stuff should have been like, you know, Lily facing off against Rantipede or even uh Carden. You know, let me take this guy on and blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, it's supposed to actually mean something. Daishi taking on uh Casey is super awesome all four times they do it. <laughs> Test your might. Yeah. It, uh, that seriously, you can put the Mortal Kombat theme over that. I know, it's very weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right. But, yeah, that's that's my thoughts on it. And I, I guess I have a soft spot for Mega Force because it was the first season I reviewed. Uh, yeah. And I, I like it a lot. And I know that there's not a lot there. And there was definitely a lot of problems that carried over from Samurai. But you gotta admit that we got a better class of actors in that. Uh, yeah. And we also have Brock, who just did, enjoys being villain. <laughs> yeah. You always need that guy, though. Yeah. Because sometimes people are just evil. That's right. Thrax is that is that guy for Time Force right now. Yeah. And, uh... Well, his motivation is later, so... Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, he's the guy who's, like, Wants to betray the, the the main guy. The main villain. He's oh, the anti-villain. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Anti-villain. I love it. Alright. Well, I think that'll do it for us yes. here on the Power Chamber Podcast. We'll be back with uh, episode, episode 13, 13, the 800th episode of Power Rangers. And to market it like that, Nickelodeon... You make you you're you're, yeah, you're you're setting yourself up for failure here. If it's not good. If it's not good. That's <laughs> why you know that the reason I judged episode eight so harshly is because mid season. Yeah. Episode ten is a mid season. Oh, speaking of one more thing about Super Mega Force, I need to ask you. Sure. Um. Well, I, uh, we'll, we'll do no. Go for it. Thing. Brock, uh, the, the all hail Prince Vicar was the Halloween episode. Last yeah for Super Mega Force. No. Uh-huh. So do you think we're gonna get one for Dino Charge? Yes. What I'm saying is I would rather write a Halloween episode than a Christmas episode. Oh yeah, sure. Go for for science reasons. Yeah. Yeah. That depends on how it goes though. Like if it's an actual like story and it's not clip showy. Yeah. If it's not Prince, if it's All Hail Prince Picard, then you. Yeah. <laughs> all Hail Prince Picard is not a Halloween episode though. That's a plot. Of, that's an episode that moves the plot forward, and I love that episode. Right, but it took the Halloween spot. And Jason Smith wrote that episode. <laughs> yes, and Blue Sabers on. We know. About... All right, so that'll be. That was probably week. his idea too. Hmm. <laughs> what? What if uh, Vicar had this resentment over Rock and blah blah blah, and then he wants to prove something to his father? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> we haven't introduced that, Jason. Whatever, I'm writing. <laughs> <laughs> You're clouding my space. I don't need your negativity. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, by the way, I, I am fully convinced that uh, Judd Lynn came up with the idea for the Titanium Ranger. <laughs> yeah, just on paper he wrote somebody yeah. a note. No, because like, th- that idea, I really don't think they would have gone for it. And sp- seeing that that guy was totally okay with opening Dino Charge with no Sentai footage at all. Oh, yeah. 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 I, that just makes that, that makes sense to me. Yeah, so. I agree. All right, so we need to sign off here. We will sign off here. Uh, X marks the signature. I'm Hello, Ice Jabandi. Right. Thank you for joining us this evening. Yes, and I'm Nick, aka Iron Man 1993. Uh, working on episode 12 right now. We have finished episode 11, the review. Uh, we'll put that out At fairly shortly. Yeah. It's my video editor crapped out on me, and then I had to. I actually figured out what was wrong. I had to. You fixed it. 
Yeah, I have to just um, the formats change, so I need to convert change. the videos before oh. I edit them. Okay. Otherwise, it won't let me. Gay. And then I'm working on the Ninjago stuff. Well, hopefully have that finished. Maybe on the week that you do the Halloween episode, because I'll have nothing to do. Yeah. So look forward to that. Anyway, so I'm Nick, a.k.a. Iron Man 1993. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. No, I'm Nick. May the power chamber protect you. From the rain. <laughs>